How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys as always today. I'm going to be dedicating this video to all my Scythe mains out there. I've been practicing Scythe a little bit on the side here. I'm just going to pick these three Scythe legends right here. I know I've been kind of giving Scythe a lot of uh, content lately, but you know, I've given many, many, many other weapons a lot of content in the past except Scythe because I didn't like Scythe for a long time. And now I kind of do. It's finally growing on me a little bit. It took a long time for Bo to grow on me, and not, and now I love it, or I don't know, I don't know if I love it anymore, but I loved it for a while, and I still definitely really like it, but, you know, I feel like Scythe is that next weapon for me, and, um, yeah, I know Dusk and Orb and, you know, came out, and there's still Cannon and everything, too, but, oh, okay. All right, Scarlet, you just want to fight. I, I totally get it, and I respect it. Ooh, ring around the rosy. Let's do that again, Scarlet. That felt really good. Not even going to let me get a weapon, are you? There we go. Oh, that was actually a kill move? I'll take it, baby. Like I said, my scythe game, man, it's on fire, man. It's on another level. There's Sandstorm level, and then there's Lucian Sword level. Not even yet ready to be unveiled because it's too good for BCX. Just kidding. I'm really not that good with scythe, but we all have to dream, right? I especially love... Uh, Best scythe combo. <laughs> Best scythe combo. Side air, side air, side air. Best scythe some. <laughs> Best scythe string. Side air, side air. Insider, Lucian Sword 2018. You lucky you couldn't dodge all the way through me, because I was reading that dodge. Man, I did a side air there, or down air, down light. I don't even know what I did. Don't listen to me. Oh, what a beautiful read on that jump, dude. Man, and I like Nyx. Nyx is like one of my favorite legends. By the way, guys, if you think Brawlhalla is better than Super Smash Brothers, go ahead and like this video. Oh, oh, you're not the only one that can snipe. GG, dude, GG. Well played. Well played. And he gave me a nice GG. I will say, though, guys, in all seriousness, uh, Brawlhalla is better than Smash Brothers in a couple ways. Yes, even Smash Ultimate. Number one, Brawlhalla's online is actually playable. Like, I want to record Smash Ultimate, but the online is killing me, guys. Like, it is so... Both literally and, like, spiritually. Because the online is so bad, it makes me question the existence of life. You have a multi-billion dollar company like Nintendo, you know, and they don't want to have dedicated servers in Smash Brothers. Um, why? Why? They are rich. They can afford it. If, if Blue Mammoth Games, a small indie dev, who makes Brawlhalla can afford it, then so can Nintendo. Come on, Nintendo. Artemis. Do that for me, and I will make tons of Smash Brothers videos, which is free advertising for them. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's not really not a lot of Scythe Legends in the game, unfortunately. I guess I'll go with Mirage up here. But yeah, um, so that only leaves basically the offline Smash Brothers stuff. 
And, I mean, I like it, but at the same time, going against computers, it gets old after a while. And I l I'm the type of person that wants the challenge of fighting a real person, you know? Not that fighting a level 9 computer is not challenging in Smash Ultimate, because it is. They're very hard. But it's not the same thing, you know? Like, fighting a, co a really hard computer... Yeah, it feels good when you beat it, but you can't, like, rub it in the computer's face. It, the computer doesn't care, you know, if you win. Part of the fun of uh, getting a win in, in Brawlhalla is knowing that the other person <laughs> probably, uh, you know, is getting emo- it, They feel something. They feel emotion when you win or lose, no matter what. You know that. And you feel comp- You feel good when you beat somebody because, you know, you're pitting your, your mind and- your strategy and your ability against another human. It's always fun, man. It goes back to cavemen. We just love competition. We love sports. We love fighting each other. And this is an easy way to do it without actually harming anybody. You do it online. Gosh, I love grabbing with that neutral air. Now that I know like how to do it, kind of, it's just fun. You can create so many weird things. Wow, that was weird. did not expect to hit with that and it still hit <laughs> whatever gg dude i'm just gonna go ahead and do that again because honestly that was such a, a fast match i didn't even really get to use these psych like, legends so a good basic scythe combo that egg soup uh taught me well indirectly taught me on a video um side light neutral light Jump, neutral air, side air. I'll try to do it. I'll just go over into them into my corner. You got me there. Going into my corner with the, with my tail between my legs on that one. Get back over there, Budva. Get back over there, Budva. I love doing that move, it literally gets everyone. I guess she gave up on the, uh, the sword ground pound speed thing. I didn't even get to use my beautiful...
My beautiful Lance. Oh, no, no. You did not. You you just killed my Artemis and then you kill yourself. <laughs> GG, dude. GG. Jim Halpert, man. Mm. I will say that since becoming kind of a scythe main, I've gotten a lot more people to, uh, how do you say it, um, leave early, <laughs> leave matches early. <laughs> like they either kill themselves or they just straight up disconnect. Oh man, Lance will do that to people. You throw in Lance and Gauntlets like Mordex has here, mm, that really gets people. Let's get Mordex, I'll just do base. This is probably the coolest Mordex uh, skin. I'm gonna give him some more dexterity there. And who else has Lance? Mm, you know what? I'm not doing a Lance strikeout, I'm doing Scythe. Mirage I've already done a few times. Jiro I guess, but I just keep doing the same legends I feel like. There's really not that many Scythe legends, we need a new one. We only have Mirage, Nyx, Mordex, three there, o o Artemis, there's four. And then we didn't get another till Jiro, there's five, and then we haven't had one since. That doesn't seem like a lot, but... Or maybe it does, I don't know. Hmm. Well anyways, I'll go ahead and finish it off with Artemis. Artemis, Artemis is one of my favorite legends. Once I get uh, Nyx to level 25, Artemis will be one of my next ones. How often do you see a black Artemis, man? They are really, really cool when you do see one. Same with black Nyx. Can't wait. I'm level 20. I'm like the same level with both of them too. I, I see Black Mordex all the time. He's one of the most popular legends, but so is Nyx kind of. You do see Black Nyx a lot, but you rarely see a Black Artemis. Like, Artemis is popular, but few people actually have the patience and like, d and you know, the, the patience to get level 25 with, with Artemis, I feel. I think this is a guy I fought at the beginning of the match. Three, I could be two, wrong. One, wrong. If it is, rematch. We'll get you! Man, if you just start going speed with Mordex on the gauntlets, people really don't know how to how to handle it. Nice snipe with the Katars, dude. What a calculated throw. Come on, Wise. Come on. Oh! First time I used a Sig this match, I feel like. Dude, I'm surprised with how many times I get kills with the scythe and I'm like, really? That kills someone? Never happened with like other weapons as much as scythe. I mean, it does happen with other weapons, just not as much as when they do with scythe. Alright, let's start it off with Artemis. I'll do Artemis. one more game. Artemis, uh, Mirage, and then end it with... Uh, I feel like I didn't use uh, Artemis that much. By the way, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and drop a like really helps me out. Also, subscribe to PewDiePie. We don't want T-Series taking over YouTube. I know, I know, not everybody likes PewDiePie, but... If you really want T-Series to be the most sub to channel, like we, need, we need PewDiePie to be the most sub to channel. At least, you know, PewDiePie is a gamer, you know? 
at least PewDiePie has been on YouTube a long time. You know, T-Series has 75 million subscribers, and yet most of their videos barely even get 1 million views. Kind of like me having 75,000 subs, and my videos barely get 1,000 views. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But it is kind of like that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> my videos get more than 1,000. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Taros. Hey. We're not bragging about views here anyways. I do it for fun, not for the views. Right, Taros? You play Burhala for fun, not, not to be mean. That was basically the combo, so you just kind of go... He might be too damaged at this point. I like that he threw the hammer like... Watch the sight. Arrows going ham. I just want to hit with the down sig, dude. Hiya! Oh wow, that's another really easy way to kill people. Look, there it is again. The scythe kill with the rage quit. Hey Cross, what's up, what's up? Just hanging out up here, eh? How's the weather? <laughs> I also love grabbing people and throwing them back with scythe. That's also a really good way to get people to rage quit. I should do a video. Best way to get people to rage quit, 2018. 2019, right? Right now? No, I, I'm not gonna make a video like that because I don't want people to rage quit. They just do because, and I know why they do because like, Scythe can be very frustrating when you're playing against it if you don't know like what they're looking for and how they're going for uh, grabs. It's really frustrating. Um, so my advice, if that's how you feel, because I felt the same way, guys. I've really gotten annoyed at Scythe many times. If that's how you feel, uh, actually go and try to play Scythe yourself. Try to learn it yourself, yourself. And when you do that, you will teach yourself what Scythe mains are looking for when they're trying to grab you and whatnot. Uh, because they are limited to the moveset. It's not like they can just magically grab you all the time. They just know how to grab you with the scythe but if you know their weak spots you know easier said than done i know scythe is honestly probably one of the best weapons in the game right now i mean sandstorm won the brahala world championship using mordax scythe and gauntlets uh in 1v1 uh but so it is really good but if you find yourself very frustrated against it i would just say go learn it and i know you probably hate Scythe if you feel that way and you don't want to learn it, but I promise you it'll at least give you an idea of how to uh, fight against it. So anyways, enough rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please go ahead and drop a like. It helps me out. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla and other content. This is Lucian Sword. I will see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy.